Hi, I'm Dan Pip, Direct Image Specialist with Geoprobe. This is Blake Slater, a mechanical engineer in our Direct Image Department. Today we're going to talk about our SP16 and SP19 latching tool, a new tool for collection of groundwater samples utilizing the uh, mechanical ladder syringe pumps in the common SP1619 groundwater sampling sheaths. One of the big advantages utilizing the latching tool is the O-rings that are on this uh, latching body. Those O-rings will seal inside the drive head of the SB16 or 19, whichever tool you're using, and it'll isolate the groundwater um, coming from the actual sample sheath and screen from any water that's potentially infiltrated through the rod joints if they have not been O-ringed or uh, had Teflon tape put on them to seal them off. When utilizing a mechanical bladder or syringe pump, um, it's under a positive pressure, so it the, has the best integrity of the groundwater sample taken, especially for uh, when you have low concentration VOC analysis. Blake is going to show us how to finish up the assembly of the uh, latching tool and how it's going to operate, and then we'll show uh, the setup of one in the ground. Blake? Depending on your application for the mechanical bladder or syringe pump, you may have received some of these options for the end of the pump, that being the barb nose intake, the bullet nose intake, our screen intake, or the latch head, which we are going to use today. To install it, we need to install our check ball into the latch body, latch head, and we can screw it onto the bottom. We can then install our two O-rings. These are critical for the head of the pump to seal into the head of the sample sheath that will help to isolate it from the water within the rod string. Now we can take a latch and a pin and we insert the pin through the larger side of our latch latching head and we can turn it into the threaded side, the smaller side that is threaded on the head. You may need a pair of pliers just to turn it a little bit. Once that is installed and not coming loose, you can then take a knife and trim it flush with the side with of the side of the latch head. You are now ready to install this into the rod string. Here's the drive head for the SP16 system and the rods would be here and the sheath would be here. The latching drive head will latch into the drive head when, when put down the rod string. So the latch will come in vertical with the uh, syringe pump and once it makes it into the drive head, we insert it all the way, the latch will flip horizontally and we're able to pull back and is now latched into the drive head where we can then actuate our pump and have it stay in place and sealed off so that we're only drawing water from the screen area. We'll pull it using the sample line and it will shear our shear pin and the latch will fall into the screen and be captured, which can then be removed later when the screen is pulled from the ground. Here's two of our primary groundwater sampling systems. This is the SB16 system that is run with inch and a half or inch and a quarter rods. This is our new SB19 uh, groundwater sampling system. Um, Pretty much the same setup, but it's run with uh, inch and three quarter rods. Um, they're both gonna have, they'll have some different drive heads for the rods. 
Um, this is a 1.9 inch OD on the sheath, a 1.6 inch OD on, on the SP16 sheath. So I'm gonna assemble our SP16 uh, groundwater sampling system here. I'm gonna first put our expendable point on. Just gonna push that in place. And then I'll take our screen, lower that down in there. And that'll just hit the bottom of the point. And then we'll take our drive head. And screw that on and we're ready to advance. So we're going to insert our extension rods down to hold our point and screen down and then we will retract the rods. So once we drove our SB16 to depth that we wanted to have the bottom of the screen set at, we took our extension rods with a solid point on the bottom of, of that lower extension rod and lowered it all the way down till it uh, engaged on the bottom of the screen and the expendable point. And then we held the point and screen at that depth and retracted the rods exposing uh, pulling back the sheath, exposing the, the full length or whatever length we choose, whether it's one foot, two or four feet of screen that we want to sample, whatever that interval might be. Now we're ready to sample and we'll uh, begin the process with the latching tool. So Blake is going to begin by lowering some groundwater sampling tubing with just a simple check valve first to initially develop the screen to remove any fines out of the screen um, that can cause that could potentially cause problems with locking up the latch body in the head or the syringe or bladder pump whichever you're using um, just some very quick initial development of this will aid in making sure that we're successful with with this tool To make sure we get down through the top of the drive head, we kind of rotate it around. Now we're down into the sample sheath. Now we're in the bottom of the screen. Going to remove some of these turbid waters until it clears up and then we'll lower our tubing and our mechanical syringe pump with the latching head. Now we're ready to install our syringe pump with the latch head on it. And before we do that, we'll wet the O-rings to aid in the installation in the drive head on the top of the sheath. So we will install this with the latch. We'll hold the latch vertical when we insert it into the rods. And it will stay that way until we get down and latch. When we get into the head, the latch will flip horizontally and engage and latch into our head for sampling. Now we're at the head, we need to apply pressure to seat the latching head into the drive head of the sheath. And there will be some resistance with the O-ring sealing into that head. Once we are latched, we can pull on the tubing to ensure that we've got a good connection and seal and we are pumping water. We're now going to install our electric actuator. If you so choose, you can also do this manually to collect your sample. We will secure the tubing here into the actuator. Split. And 
and now we're able to take our sample. Once again, you'll want to allow the any fines that may be in the, in the sample line to purge out. And once everything clears up and the turbidity goes down, uh, you can collect your samples for whatever analytes you're looking for. Once you're done collecting your groundwater samples, um, we can remove the actuator if you're using that. Now we're going to remove the tubing and the pump from the top of the uh, groundwater sheath. And to do that, Blake is going to stretch the tubing to fully engage the pump and then apply some more force, which will shear the expendable pin holding the latching tool from within the uh, drive head. And there's the pin has been sheared and we should have our pump on the other end. So now that the pin is sheared off, uh, we'll be able to actually recover that in the screen once we pull the rods out of the ground. If you have any further questions, please contact us at Geoprobe.